I'm about to reveal a website that pays you $50 per hour just for reading books. And that's exactly what this user does. They've generated over $80,000 so far. And I'm telling you, there are hundreds of other people doing the same exact thing. As a matter of fact, this is the first thing I did to make my first four figures online. So let's get started. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Audible by now. This is just the biggest marketplace when it comes to audiobooks. And I absolutely love it. Now, I'm not sure whether or not you are familiar with this, but Amazon actually allows you to post your own audiobooks. That's a real thing. You can sell them on their marketplace and keep most of the revenue. And there is a very similar process when it comes to Amazon Kindle books. You can start selling your own original ebook on this marketplace. And even though in theory, it might sound like a great idea because you're posting your ebook on one of the biggest marketplaces on earth and you're getting all of that traffic in reality in practice it's pretty difficult to stand out from the crowd most of the bestsellers here are written by well-established writers and authors and so unless you're a very talented writer yourself or you're able to find a way to deliver a lot of value to your audience to your readers you're not gonna sell a lot of copies i'm not gonna lie about it but guys don't worry i've got great news as well and what i want you to take a look at moving forward is called amazon acx now i'm gonna ignore this long format description on their website and i'm gonna break it down for you so to put it simply this is a marketplace that unites writers with voiceover artists in other words publishers and producers and here's why this is such a great idea as an author instead of having to search on different freelancing websites for a person who can get a job done in terms of the voiceover acting what you can do is just head over to amazon acx and partner up with a professional voiceover or perhaps even a beginner whichever one you want to pick and the best part is that you don't necessarily have to pay them anything up front as an author so we can just give them a percentage of the royalties of the future sales as you can see as soon as you connect to acx.com you're gonna have a few different options you can just pick i'm an author i'm an author who narrates i'm a narrator and so on and so forth you've got a few different options there but in today's video we're not gonna be focusing on creating these ebooks and audiobooks and instead we're going to be focusing on reading books and getting paid $50 per hour, just as the title suggests. And for that reason, I want you to pick narrator. That is the sweet spot. That's going to take you over to this page where you can start your audiobook career. So let me break it down. It is just a four step process. You get noticed, you get together with your writer, you get it done and finally you get paid, which is the best part of the process, no doubt. And moving forward, there are a few steps you need to follow, but more on that later. I don't want to bore you with this stuff for now. And so guys, here's the bottom line. To summarize it, what you're going to do moving forward is provide voiceover acting services. But the best part about it is that instead of working as a freelancer on places like Fiverr.com, for instance, where the competition is really high, 23,000 different services, you're partnering up with a writer, which means you've got the potential of getting some of the royalties. You can charge a percentage of the royalties. Instead of getting paid up front, as a freelancer does, you can get a commission of the future sales. And so, if you happen to partner up with an insanely successful ebook and you do the voiceover for that, you can make a lot more money over a longer period of time. Again, you can provide the same exact service on Fiverr. What people typically do is they search for voiceover services, then they choose the language they want, then the gender, and finally, they're gonna pick somebody who they think is a great fit. As you can see, you can even preview the voiceover acting. In a very similar platform when it comes to that kind of service, it's called Voices.com. If you head over to their job section, you can also get started here. First off, they're gonna ask you, what's your area of expertise? And you wanna pick voiceover. And then you can even choose the types of voiceover jobs you want to get involved into, such as animation jobs, audiobook jobs, so on and so forth. Up next, you're going to have to create the profile, reply to jobs, get hired, do the work, and finally get paid. And that is guaranteed, no doubt about it. But there is a drawback to this whole process. And the concept is great, so in theory, everything sounds good. But you're still working as a freelancer. In other words, you're only going to receive compensation for your services up front. You will receive a certain rate. For instance, let's say you're charging $20, 30 $40 an hour. This is the amount of money you will get. But when it comes to ACX, apart from the flat fee, apart from the upfront payment, you will also get a percentage of the royalties, which makes it even better over the longer period of time. Guys, let me tell you something. The voiceover acting service is the first thing I've done in order to make my first $1,000 online. And for that reason, I'm really passionate about this method. But here's the thing. If you really want to make a full-time income out of voiceover acting, you need to be great. You need to offer the best service out there. You need to be talented. But when it comes to partnering up with a writer, all you gotta do is be lucky once, and that's enough. If you stumble upon a bestseller and you partner up with them, you can get paid for years and you only have to do the job once. That is the beauty of this method. And in a very similar way, you can partner up with a YouTube channel owner. And so you can get a percentage of the ad revenue. You're delivering the same exact type of service, 
but you get a percentage and so as the youtube channel grows you're also making more money and in this case as the ebook or an audiobook however you want to call it gets more popular you're also making more money you're increasing your revenue without any additional work which is just a great thing isn't it and by the way guys if you want to do this on voices.com instead there is a slight drawback to the website and so what you can do for free on this platform is completing your profile then uploading a sample pretty much optimizing your profile and then you're just gonna have to wait for people to discover you and ask for your services but this is never gonna happen you see guys unless you have a huge background unless you have a lot of previous experience people are not gonna reach out to you and if you want to apply for the jobs which you can do on the website you need to pay a monthly subscription let me show you there you go if i wanted to reply to this job i cannot do it unless i have the premium package and if i wanted to upgrade my profile to premium i'd have to pay a solid 500 dollars a year and so that's quite a substantial investment for somebody who's just starting out right that's basically the price you have to pay if you don't want to post your gig on places like fiverr where the competition is higher and so you will get job opportunities you will get offers and you will eventually get paid but in order to do that in order to get to that point you would have to pay the monthly subscription and again this is not very comfortable for a beginner but when it comes to ecx here's what you gotta do First off, you need to create the profile and you can sign up in just a few seconds. I'm not going to bore you with that. And then you can create the profile. That's pretty self-explanatory. Then you need to upload samples. That is just so that people can see whether or not you're a great fit for their project or their ebook. You see, not each voiceover actor will be suitable for a certain ebook topic. And so writers will typically be very selective about the people they are working with. Moving on. You can choose how you want to get compensated. For instance, you can choose a per finished hour rate, which means you are paid upfront just as a freelancer is, or you can choose to share 50% of the royalties, which in my opinion is the better approach if you're focusing on the long run. Moving on, you're gonna start searching for books that you're interested in, and you can record the few minutes of the manuscript. And if the author picks you, you will receive an offer but it doesn't cost you anything to apply for those jobs and that's a huge advantage of it up next ideally the writer will accept your offer and you can start recording and you can even work with other studio professionals and exchange your experiences eventually you will finish the recording after some time and get paid and of course you can keep replicating the process and come back for more because they've got thousands of different audiobooks and opportunities and to be entirely honest the best part about this entire process and the skill itself is that no investment is required whatsoever. The single investment that you could potentially make would be into a high quality microphone. For instance, the one I'm using right now is a Blue Yeti. It will cost you about 100 bucks or so. Now, I've had my problems with it, but for the most part, it does its job. And I'm sure there are better options out there, but you would have to do some more research. But in other words, this is the only upgrade that you can make. And what you can focus on is improving your skill. And now guys, it gets even better than this. Let's just take a step back and take a look at the bigger picture over a longer period of time. Let's just say you love this skill, you love this opportunity, and you would like to get paid for delivering voiceover services, right? What you can do is start working with Amazon ACX. And you can choose that compensation method that gives you royalties of the future sales, okay? Once you're doing that, once you've got a few different clients that are working with you, you're also accumulating experience. And then you can use that as a selling point on Upwork or even Fiverr, but I would recommend Upwork. Let's just imagine the following scenario. Let's just say you're a writer or you're an advertiser and you want to get a voiceover service done. Well, in that case, you're going to start browsing through all of these different opportunities, all of these different offers. And chances are you're going to pick the person with the most previous experience and so the best expertise. And now that you've been working with a lot of clients on ACX, you actually do have a lot of previous experience. And again, you can use that as a selling point. And so you can charge how much you want per hour. You can go for $35, $100, or $50, bucks, such as this user that's generated over $80,000. And by the way, you do not have to be an English native. This is the perfect example of that. This person is from India, and they're also providing English voiceover services that allow them to make tens of thousands of dollars, over five figures online. And so again, do not make any excuses. Even if you're not based in the United States, you can still do this. So I want you guys to head over to ACX and get it started. Thanks for watching.